Thumbs or delayed onset muscle soreness. What is it? Well, you may not have heard of this term before, but if you've ever stepped foot into a gym, taken up a running routine, or even done some heavy yard work, you're likely very familiar with its effects. DOMS is just the technical term for feeling really, really sore after a workout. It's pretty hard to forget how your butt felt the next few days after your boot camp instructor made you do 100 air squats. You are sore. You're really, really sore. In fact, sometimes DOMS can feel so bad you might think you've done permanent damage to your body. But why do your muscles hurt so much after your exercise in the first place? Is there a way to prevent them from aching so bad afterward? Will they always hurt this bad if you continue to exercise? No pain, no gain, right? Or at least that's what you've been told. But what if that pain is so bad it prevents you from working out again for the next three weeks? Well, I'd be willing to guess that that would probably have an adverse impact on your intended result. So why do we get sore in the first place? If you ask around, a lot of fitness-minded people might have an answer for you. They may say that the soreness you feel can be attributed to the buildup of something called lactic acid in your muscles. This lactic acid builds up as you exercise and afterward the muscles remain sore until it's been flushed out by the lymphatic system. But don't worry, they say, as you continue to exercise, your lymphatic system will become more efficient at removing lactic acid and other waste products causing the soreness. So it sounds like lactic acid must be causing this muscle pain, right? Well, sort of. Lactic acid can definitely cause muscle soreness. There's no question about that. If you've ever sprinted as far or as fast as you can, maybe chasing after a bus, you've definitely felt the burning effects of lactic acid. When your overly enthusiastic boot camp instructor yells at you to feel the burn, what she is actually telling you is to push your energy system past the lactate threshold, causing a buildup of lactic acid in your muscles and inducing an incredibly uncomfortable burning sensation. Your muscles start screaming at you to stop, and eventually you will have to. Congratulations, you have just flooded your system with a level of lactic acid your body is not able to process fast enough to keep up with the exercise producing it. So it must be the case then that if you don't listen to your neon spanics wearing boot camp instructors cries for feeling the burn, you'll keep yourself from feeling like you got hit by a dump truck the next few days, right? No lactic acid buildup, no three days of horrifying muscle pain, right? The problem is... Well, the problem is this kind of thinking falls into what's being called bro science. Bro science is named after the techniques gym goers use to build muscle and increase fitness and the understanding of the physiology behind the changes supported entirely by gym culture memes and almost never by science. While some bro science techniques do inevitably become backed up by scientific understandings of the purported results, you should definitely listen to most bro science with caution. The idea that lactic acid causes extended muscle soreness is definitely one of them. In fact, Excess lactic acid caused by intense exercise will be entirely processed and returned to normal levels within one or two hours after exercise, regardless of the person's fitness level. If lactic acid doesn't cause muscle soreness, what does? Well, there are two primary mechanisms believed to be the cause of DOMS. The first is an overabundance of calcium left over within the muscle cells following strenuous exercise. When this calcium breaks down, it results in inflammation of the muscle cells inducing pain. And the second cause is the whole reason we lift weights in the first place. When you lift weights, you cause microtrauma to the muscle fibers, stimulating the body to respond by rebuilding the fibers to a stronger, more resilient degree. Microtrauma to the muscle fibers also stimulates pain receptors within the muscle and continues to do so while those tissues heal. You are, in effect, tearing your muscles down when you work out, so it should be expected that the local pain receptors would send signals to the brain that something is causing damage to the body. The continued and intensified pain at the exercise muscle has been thought by some researchers to be a way of reducing movement while the tissue heals. But even this might not be the case as we will get into next when we talk about how to reduce the pain.